finished my one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with my UNI website advisor, and my website is live. I know that the UNI team offers me 30 days of unlimited edits, but I really want to go through the UNI platform and see what I can do. I'll make some changes to the website, get some orders and bookings, and basically do a full walk around the product. But first, let's set up a domain. A domain gives a business credibility and visibility online. Uh, you can search for a domain on your UNI Business Hub and we will give you suggestions about available domains. Just pick one. And I really like fanfingers.us, so let's confirm it and purchase a domain. And that's it. With the domain ready, it's time to set up your business email. So I'll create one for myself. It's really easy. Just pick a username, um, I set up some details like my first name and last name and a password. I click submit and in a couple of hours my email will be ready for me. Don't worry, we'll send you an email when it's done. You and I built a great website for me, but my business changed a bit in the meantime, so I want to customize the colors and the fonts on my website a little bit. On the editor, I go to theme, where I can pick a new layout to change the color scheme or the font set that it's in use. I'm going to keep the white accent, but I want to change the secondary and the primary colors. I'm going to pick a black for the secondary color and I'm going with the light gray for the primary color. Let's see how it looks. Much better now, and the gray is really the same as my logo, so it looks really tidy. Now for the font, uh, oh, we have a huge selection here. Let's see, uh, let's try a few. Uh, no, not this one, not this combo. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I think this one looks really good. I'll keep it. As always, just have to click on save and all the changes are published instantly to my website. Next up is content. Initially, I had asked for an about us page with icons, but I really like the photos that the UNI team found for me. So I'm going to edit the about us page to remove the missing icon that we have. I'm going to edit the copy a little bit just to optimize this text. And then I'm going to pick a new image from the amazing library that we have. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go, no, no. Yeah, this one, this one's great. Now that you have it, um, edit it, just click on save. And again, it gets automatically published live to my website. Next, I want to tweak the page structure a little bit. So um, I don't want to have an about us page. I just want to disable it and move the about us section to show up on my team page. So that it's, it's all get together. We disable the about us page on the pages editor and now let's go to the team page uh, let's open it up and add a section we can click on add section we select the innovative iconic pull area which is the section title for my about us page uh, let's change the page name to about and let's bring that up to the top and yeah much much better All right, now for another quick change, I want to add a subtitle to my team section. Our amazing artists, it's who they are, and I think it looks much nicer. I want to write a blog post highlighting our work and showing some good promos. So jump into the editor, blog, and add a new page. Pages are posts in our blog. So for the post, I'm just gonna give it a page title, select an image, from my library and write the content. All right, this is looking great. Now let's add some custom code to our website. And I really want to add an image slider to just showcase uh, some of the great photos that I have on Fanged Fingers. So let's go to sections, add custom code. I don't want to put a title. I got a custom code from the UNI team. Let's say it as full width. And let's go to the website and see how it looks. It looks, yeah, it looks amazing. I uh, love those nail photos.
We're now also selling new products, the classic nail polishes. So let's go to the editor, sections, products, add a new product group for the nail polishes and add a new product for our all new nail polishes. And then we priced at $20 and the pricing unit is 10 milliliters. We also want to track inventory for this product and we have about 35 on stock now. These are from the Andrea brand. So let's add a tag, brand Andrea, add a tag, and let's pick a nice image that we took in our store and we uploaded it. It's right here, lots of color. Let's add a description for the product and remember to be rich and descriptive as you should be. All right, let's, it's done, looks good. Let's click on save and the product is available. Here it is, all new nail polish and we have 35 items available. As you can see by the amazing photo of our shelf, we have different brands and bottle sizes. We can track these as product variations. In product variations, we can set different options for different items of our product. So let's say we're tracking the size of our bottles for five milliliters, 10 milliliters and 20 milliliters. We add these as options and we can remove the pricing unit. We also want to have different brands. So let's add a custom product option for brand and list out all the brand options that we have. Once we do this, we need to rebuild our product variations database to properly calculate all the inventory and pricing. Now that we have the different variations configured, we also need to manage the pricing and availability of each. We have a very simple way to do this. So we can have a single view where we can manage the stock, the pricing and the promotional pricing of each of our variations. And once I click apply, all changes are published live on my website. It's all ready for sale. All right, so one last thing is adding a coupon for our anniversary. So let's go to editor, settings, shopping cart, product coupons, and create a new percentage coupon. I want to offer 10% off for all purchases on my website. We set the coupon code, the 10% discount value, we click on add discount and we need to specify the options. I want to apply this for all products and let's apply it on top of all existing promotional discounts. Let's not expire this and we're good, add coupon. As a cool promotion, I also want to offer free shipping. Back to the shopping cart settings, delivery methods, let's set a new delivery method and let's set it as free shipping. That's it, click on save and free shipping is available for everyone. Last change on the website is to show this coupon on an announcement. To do that, let's go to the editor configuration and enable the announcements on all pages. Let's write some catchy copy and set this to our nice brand purple. Uh, let's make it closable so that the customers can dismiss it and increase the font size a little bit. We can also add an action button and let's say shop now and send them to our products page where they can buy all the nail polish that they want. That's it, we're good to go. Now let's see how the website looks and amazing. And we got our first order. So let's jump back to the hub, my customers, and let's see what we have here. And it's Andy. All right, Andy, we have a phone number. We have the order ID. Let's see what she ordered. And yeah, we have some, uh, some Fierce Violence Vengeance nail polish. Looks good. One great way to get more sales is to show your products on Google Ads, Instagram shops or Facebook shops. You and I enables you to do this very easily. You go to your shopping cart settings and you can go to the product sync page. You can enable Google Shopping, Facebook shops or Instagram shops. Once you enable the first one, we will highlight all the problems that you have on your products to make sure that they are optimally delivered to Google. Products must have prices and you must have a refunds and returns policy. Once you fix those issues, we'll start immediately synchronizing your products with Google Merchant Center. You can then connect to Facebook or Instagram to get your products live on your pages and generate more revenue. 
In addition to products, I also sell services. Artistic manicure is one of the key elements of my business. I have a new service that I want to add, which is for single nail fixes. To do so, I have to use the editor and go to the services section and I'll add a new service called single nail fix. I'll make it bookable. And before, I used to use a different third party platform to my, manage my bookings. But now, with you and I, everything is in the same product. Let me pick a nice image, and I really like this pink one, and write a description. We're fixing multiple types of nails, so let's use the multiple options to manage service variations. We have gel, acrylic, and fiberglass options. Click on Add Option, and let's save. Now, my service is ready to be booked online. All right, it looks like I just got a booking. Let's see what we have. So Gwen is, she broke a nail and she wants a quick fix for tomorrow. All right, let's confirm the booking. And this automatically sends an email to, uh, to Gwen and to myself with the calendar invite. So we can add it to both our calendars and it will be synced to any tool that we use. And that's it, booking is confirmed. On my hub, I can also view the analytics for my page and this gives me a quick insight into the unique users of my website and some of my performance metrics. Likewise, I can go to my customers and export all the contacts. This will send an email that has a CSV list that can import into any mailing list provider or to my address book. UNI's amazing support team is always ready to help out. To get help, you can use phone support. You click on phone support on a hub, you'll see the number and you can just click on it to start the call immediately. Also on a hub or the editor, you can live chat with an agent. Just click the chat box and start typing and someone will reply to you right away. At last, as I have the amazing concierge service, you and I will make any changes that I want in no time. So I just want to request an edit to connect my Instagram feed to my website. So I go to editor, edit request, I want to select what I want and it's to connect my Instagram feed and um, that's it, I just give it the, uh, the profile handle and you and I will do it for me.